Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing fine. In today's video, we will be discussing about the equivalence of two finite automatas. Uh, we will be discussing how the transition impacts uh, the equivalence of both the automatas and how this question can be done within two minutes. So just watch the video till the end. So if I talk about the equivalence, of finite automata. It means we have to check whether the automatas are equivalent or not. So in this, uh, you don't. You need to do one thing that you need to create sets of both finite automata. Make sure sets of final and non-final should not be created. The moment they are created, that means that is not an equivalence because both the automata should behave similar. If one is ending at final state, the other should also end at final state. Fine. And the second important thing is if all sets are processed, that means equivalence is there. But if there is any set, set of finite and a uh, final and non final state is formed, it means those would be non equivalent. So that can be done by taking an example. So in the next slide, I'm showing you the particular example. As you can see in this particular figure, there are two automatas. This is machine A. This is machine B. So it is irrespective of whether they are uh, finite or DFA or NFA. So that's what we have to basically go with. So what we have to see is that we have a transition with C and D are the, uh, the particular input symbols uh, given. So we just have to see whether they are working similar or not. So this is machine A and this is machine B. So we always start from initial state and incidentally it is a final state. So we have initial states are this is C transition. This is with the D transition. So we have initial states which is Q1 and Q4. So Q1 is for one machine and Q4 is for second machine. Guys, just check whether this set is of final, final or non-final, non-final. We have to just check that final and non-final must not be formed. A final, final can be formed and non-final, non-final can be formed too as a set, as a pair. So this is clearly a final, final combination. So we can form it. So just check Q1 when C is given. Q1 when C is given, it goes to Q1, which is a set of final. And Q4 when C is given, when Q4 when C is given, it goes to Q4. So guys, this is a set of final finals. So perfect. We are fine with it. Right? Q1 when D is given, it goes to Q2. And Q4 when D is given, it goes to Q5. This is a set of non-final, non-final, no issues. Now, over here, I have already processed Q1, Q4, which is on left side. So I have to process the second one, which is Q2, Q5. As long as the set of non-final, non-final or final, final is formed, your question is fine. Q2 when C is given, Q2 when C is given, it goes to Q3. Over here, Q5 when C is given, it goes to Q6. So guys, we have to check whether Q3 and Q6 are both a non-final or non-final. Yes, Q3 is non-final. And Q6 is also non-final. So we are fine. Q2 when D is given, it goes to Q1. And Q5 when D is given, it goes to Q4. So Q1, Q4 is already processed. These are the set of final, final. So we are fine. So uh, Q1, Q4 processed, Q2, Q5 processed, we have to process Q3, Q6, Q3, Q6, just check. Q3 when C is given, it goes to itself and Q6 when C is given, it uh, when C is given, 
it goes to q7 uh, q3 when we just have to see it properly q3 when c is given it goes to q2 and uh, q6 when c is given it goes to q7 we have to check what kind of combination q2 is non final and q7 is also non final from another machine so we are fine q3 when d is given it goes to itself and q6 when d is given it goes to itself guys we have already got the combination of q3 q6 so it is already processed on left side and it is a combination of non final and non final so what is left we are left with q2 q7 because q3 and q6 is already processed we got q2 and q7 q2 when c is given it goes to uh, q3 and q7 when c is given it goes to q6 we have already processed q3 q6 over here q2 when d is given it goes to q1 and q7 when d is given it goes to q4 so this is a combination of final final this is non final non final and we have processed every combination there is no combination left it means over here how will you deduce it no combination is left is left every combination is either final final or non final non final right so it means every combination is processed it means clearly both a and b are equivalent fine so uh, this is regarding this particular video if you have any doubts post it in, in comment section kindly like share and subscribe and thank you very very much for the support